Hey, how's it going? Let's check out what's in the news today. Right now, gamers around the world have their eyes on E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. It's one of the biggest events on the gaming calendar where some huge announcements are made. So let's take a look at what's going down. E3 hasn't officially started yet, but it's fair to say there's already a lot to be excited about. This year, 70,000 gamers and industry people have flocked to Los Angeles to hear the latest in gaming. Microsoft has announced Project Scarlet. It's next-generation Xbox, which will be up to four times more powerful. It's also got a streaming service coming, so you can play console games on your mobile. The gaming industry seems to be all about streaming right now. Google's launching its own service, Stadia, which will be here in November. Budding Jedi Masters can look forward to new Star Wars games, including LEGO Star Wars, which will cover all nine main movies in the one game. Celebrities are out in force, including actor Keanu Reeves and his gaming counterpart. The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. So sweet. But then at Ubisoft's presentation, John Bernthal brought a dog on stage. How do you compete with that? You don't. Nintendo hasn't given any hints about what to expect from its presentation, but maybe two dogs? That would be nice. If you're a piece of single-use plastic living in Canada right now, we've got some bad news for you. Sorry. Canadian PM Justin Trudeau's just announced the country's going to ban some single-use plastics like straws, bags and cutlery by early 2021. It follows a similar decision by the European Parliament recently, and Trudeau says it's all about reducing plastic waste and helping to protect the world's oceans. Is PE your favourite subject at school? Well, you might be in luck. Some schools in South Australia are thinking about doubling the amount of physical education they do. Um, I like with PE how you can just get out and you can play sport, have a bit of fun. Learn new skills for life, how if some of us want to be sportsmen and even just playing sport when we're older. Getting a chance to run around and miss out on some other lessons. <laughs> well, lucky for these guys, they might be spending a lot more time doing stuff like this. Around 30 schools in SA will be trying out a new sports education program later this year. It includes up to double the amount of time spent on PE, exercise between classes, encouraging walking and riding to school and linking schools to local sports clubs. <sighs> and Puff just talking about it. So why all the exercise? Well, get ready for another list. Experts say it can help kids do better at school overall, set them up with healthy habits for life, and of course, make them healthier and happier. But not everyone agrees that we need more PE and think that more time should actually be spent on things like English and maths. So what do you guys think? I think some people prefer other subjects. I like um, having PE to get out there, be a bit more active and refresh your brain. It gives you a better mindset of what you're doing next and kind of just focusing your brain and calming it down from all the stress you're having from the hard work you're doing. I think it's a good challenge because you get to learn new things, play against other people. The AFL's just held its coolest event of the year, the Big Freeze. It's where sporting superstars slide into icy waters all for a good cause to raise money for research into motor neuron disease. Here are our top three picks for best outfits. Coming in at number three, retired netballer Bianca Chatfield thought being the Little Mermaid might give her an advantage in the water, but apparently not. At two, Brownlow medalist Sam Mitchell made a splash as a smurf. Just look at that face. And at number one, it was this guy that everyone was talking about. Legendary lead singer of 80s band Queen, Freddie Mercury, aka former St Kilda captain Nick Rewalt. Now that's dedication. Really glad that mic wasn't real. And finally, to another really important sporting event, it's the Grand Prix of office chairs. 55 teams of three, uh, drivers? Battle it out on the streets of Hanyu in Japan. Pushing backwards seems to be the best tactic, although that has its downfalls. As you can see, it's all a bit exhausting, but at least the prize at the end is 90 kilograms of rice. Well, looks like dinner's on them. Have you subscribed yet? You really should. There's heaps more cool videos like this on our channel. 
And while you're at it, comment below and let us know what's your favourite thing that's come out of E3 so far. 